String transport is a transport of elevated overpass type, where everything moves on an overpass. However, our overpass is absolutely different from the traditional ones. First, it is preliminary stressed along its entire length. It is uncut along its entire length. It does not have expansion joints. The tension goes to anchor supports that stand on the earth's crust. Therefore, the tension is transferred through the structure to the earth's crust. Figuratively speaking, it is squeezed out. And the track structure is stretched. Since it is stretched, it will never undergo compression, including while temperature rise. It can be easily determined by calculation, Thus, it will never lose stiffness. A very important point for an overpass is bending moments that actually break the structure. If we take a simply supported beam having its ends, it has its own bending moment diagram. But if we stretch the structure and make it long, its bending moments will decrease twice. So it requires twice less material to bear the same load. At high-speed motion, 300 km per hour and higher, 90% of energy, or fuel consumption by the motor, is spent for aerodynamics. That's why I started to improve it and made it unique. Therefore, our Unibus has a unique shape. If we take any vehicle, for example a car, and raise it up by the height of its size, removing the airfoil effect, its aerodynamics will increase by 2.5 times just due to it. Therefore, string transport does not have an airfoil effect, because it has only two rails. It is very important. In addition, Due to the improvements of the vehicle features, including aerodynamics, we reduce energy consumption tenfold approximately. Five territories of Great Britain are rolled down under asphalt and buried under sleepers. This soil is dead. No green plants grow there, producing oxygen for our breathing. And now imagine, we will build our roots, remove asphalt, plow up the ground and plant gardens. Our stream tracks need less resources, therefore, they will cost tenfold less. It will be less costly for the mankind. Therefore, it will be possible to build tenfold more routes for the same funds.
We transfer traffic to the second level. Aviation is on the third level. We are afraid of airplanes considering them dangerous. No, we should be afraid of cars. If we replace the existing roads, only motor roads are 36 million kilometers long in total, with safer, eco-friendlier and less costly stream routes, we would be able to save at least 1.5 million people from deaths on the roads annually. These seemingly easy things from physics and engineering brought me to creating an optimal transport biological path. I did it from scratch because I have set up such tasks.